Okay, all right, so next thing we're gonna do is gonna remove the hard drive. Like I said, I haven't even turned it on, so great thing about MacBooks or anything that has to do with the uh, OS X is that you could immediately from the home screen uh, go into disk utility uh, menu and uh, go ahead and clean your hard drive and make it bootable again. Uh, so we haven't even done that with this. So I'm gonna remove that, put the SSD from my 2012. It was, it's good to go. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove it from my 2012 uh, here in a few minutes after I'm done with this one. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this one that I have right now. Um, I did buy an iFixit kit, uh, probably one of the best uh, investments I've done, especially for a person who deals with a lot of uh, electronics. Um, one of the best investments I've had. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this toolkit to get this removed. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the two plastic tabs here that are holding the hard drive um, yeah so they look like this just move them off to the side uh, what I did want to mention as a uh, great thing about this iFixit toolkit is that when you take the lid off it's sectioned off as you can see with these squares here um, and what I do is I kind of place them to where the actual screws are so this screw was there this screw was there and you know so on and so forth so that way I could just grab them and place them there so it definitely helps you out once you start you know taking off multiple things then it, it'll get a little complicated uh, I'm sure you'll find different ways you can you know write it down on a piece of paper um, but you know in this case with that you know I just kind of have it to exactly how I took them off here um, but I went ahead and take off took off the plastic tabs again I'm putting in putting them off to the side where I removed them and uh, the reason I know a little bit about this is because, I, like I said, I, I replaced the, uh, the hard drive on the 2012 model. Alright, so, very easy. This is how it looks. Uh, I will say in this year's model, it's only this side and this side. The other one has it all completely squared off. These are just two pieces right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave that off to the side right now. It was so easy to remove the adhesive that holds the screen onto the actual frame uh, of this computer. Um, but all I did was really use my fingernail to just kind of, uh, you know, scratch the side off. And, uh, you know, scratch the side off and I was able just to pull it all off. Um, I did have a little adhesive that's stuck on here right here but everything else is completely clean as you can see me just rubbing my finger down uh, it's completely off uh, this as well too there's a little bit of stickiness here going on everything's fingernail when it's a brand new device when it's an older device it may or may not so I want you to keep that in mind but now you will see me have the SSD and installing it on this new one there's a reason why I am not sticking with the um, with the one terabyte hard drive that comes in the, the iMac <clears throat> is because I'm trying to transfer over uh, 620 gigabytes worth of stuff over to my four terabyte Western Digital hard drive. Um, it's not an SSD; it's a 2.5 hard drive and look how long it's going to take just to get that stuff over it's not going to take two days i'm pretty sure um maybe some files are very have bits little tiny bits of information that of course take a lot longer to transfer over but um yeah i made a folder for imac it failed sort of deal um i'm gonna go ahead and risk this one i have and i've sometimes failed and succeeded and that's how things go but um yeah uh that's why i'm going to go ahead and do that i'm going to go ahead and uh, just transfer everything uh i'm going to turn this off and get that ssd out of this uh 2012 imac and uh go from there all right as i'm taking it out from the old 2012 uh imac this is the 
the SSD that I was talking about, uh, the one I just don't want to leave here on this computer. Um, this rubber casing here that goes onto the the slot there is a oh, full, I guess, casing as you can see. It's like that. And you don't see that on this new one. This is the new one for the 2017. You don't see that anywhere on here. Um, this full case here, it is just uh, two pieces. Today I'm going to show you how fast it takes this 2017 iMac to boot up. Now I do have a one terabyte SSD from SanDisk and I wanna run a quick speed test on the actual disk itself to show you that I am you know, on an SSD here. So let's take a look at the Drive DX2 which is like a health assessment for it, for the hard drives that you connect to your computer or what's on there internally. All right, as you can see right here, this is where I have Mac OS X. Uh, it is a 960 gigabyte hard drive. I just say one terabyte, make things a lot easier, but it is a 960 to be exact. And the power cycle count 536. Uh, with the power on time of 11 days and 12 hours. I have put about 12.7 terabytes through that hard drive. Um, so, you know, that's health wise, it's at 100% with the SSD lifetime left indicator of 99%. So, it's definitely good. Now, I will say that, you know, even though it's at 99%, this 500 gig samsung 840 evo i've had for i believe two years and it's still at 99 percent. so i think it's just kind of a, a thing that they put on there that it's 99 percent. but it's very healthy hard drive and i'm gonna go ahead and show you the black magic disc speed test on here so running this speed test and i will i will say that the write speeds on this hard drive are not as great as i want them to be but the read speeds are amazing. And that's what's important whenever you're booting up. Uh, 500 is really good. It's it's pushing, it's getting close to that, uh, that SATA port uh, limitation. So 494 is very, very good. And the write speeds are really horrible on here. I'm not gonna lie there, they're, they're very disappointing now they they boost up up to like 300 then it goes back down to like the 180s and yeah it's it's a little bit frustrating but i mean it is what it is and for, you know for the price that i got this this ssd it was actually a really good deal uh, i got this one terabyte for about 200 dollars not brand new so now this hard drive is like 220 230 240 uh, on eBay just because NAND flash is just getting expensive. I'm gonna shut down this speed test here. So 230, I guess it went up from the 180, went to about 230, and read is at about like 471. Very, very good uh, read speeds, write speeds, you know, they're very respectable as well too. So uh, definitely a, a good SSD. But now I will be swapping it out with a new two terabyte Fire CUDA, which is an SSHD 